so excited to be testing out another two auto wax melting furnace. I'm going to be making some candles again today. I've made a couple off camera just to practice, but now I'm going to show you guys how this wax melting furnace actually works. They're 6.5 liter wax melter, I believe before I've tried their 5 liter, which is a little bit smaller, but this one is a lot bigger. So if you're a candle business owner and you're making a lot of candles, I would highly recommend getting yourself one of these wax melting furnaces, but I am going to unbox it and show you guys everything that we're going to be doing today. So when you first open the box, it comes with a set of instructions, which we love because who doesn't need to know what to do before operating machinery? So I have some instructions. It's really packaged very nicely with the styrofoam so that your melting furnace doesn't shift around during shipping. And here it is. Oh my goodness, this is so, it's actually really big, but it's kind of lightweight. Like I'm able to pull this out with one hand, so. It also comes with a, I would call this like a mixing stick so that you can stir your wax. And then, as always, they also include, I think this is 100 wicks and some adhesive so that you can actually stick your wicks to your vessel. And then, I'm not really sure what these are called, but this is where you actually center your wick. So I guess like a wick center or something like that, but we love that. Okay, so let me go ahead and unwrap this and I'll show you what it looks like. So here's what she looks like. This is a really, really nice wax melting furnace. I mean, I absolutely love how simple and sleek it is, but also this handle on top makes it really easy to pick up if you're needing to move around a little bit. Normally I will be working on this stainless steel table that I have, so here's where we're going to be making the candles at today. But, let's see, you twist the lid to open it. It's beautiful. Okay, this is really deep too, six and a half liters. Okay, so basic specs we have, it is six and a half liters. The temperature range goes between 30 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit to 230 degrees Fahrenheit. So it gets pretty warm, <laughs> which is why we have all these caution stickers. Pay attention to the high temperature. And here is the nozzle that you would actually turn to adjust. If you can see, here's where you would adjust the temperature. And then you have your on off. Turn this to release the wax and your basic power cord. I have a bag of natural soy wax and over here I have these vessels that I purchased off of Amazon. If you guys want the links, make sure you check out the link in my description box to purchase this 2 auto wax melted furnace and I'm also going to have everything else that I'm using linked down below. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. Push that button. Once you see that this light is orange it'll let you know that it's actually on and we're going to set the wax to I'm going to do it at about 185 degrees just to get this melting sort of quickly Turn it to lock it and make sure that it's locked into place, okay? And now we're just going to wait for this to melt. But while we wait for this to melt, I do want to go ahead and get my vessels prepared. So, guys, these jars are so nice. I love them. I've already made three of them. I'll show you. Here's what they look like. These are 7 ounce. These are 7 ounce glass jars with like a wooden lid. Something about the wooden top for me. I personally just love a wooden, a bamboo lid. And as you can see, they're really good suction. But I'll show you guys what the candle wax actually looks like inside of here once we're done. Alright, so I will update you guys once our wax has completely melted. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and get our wicks placed inside of the jar so that when the wax is melted this is all ready to go. Place my lids back here
check on the wax. It's been about 10 minutes. Okay, within 10 minutes, the wax is completely melted, you guys. That is amazing. The wax is 100% melted. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is double check the temperature of the wax before I pour. I'm probably going to pour at about 135 degrees, so let's see. I'm going to wait for it to cool a little. Yeah, that's way too warm. Okay, so I'm going to let this cool down a little bit and then we'll pour. Alright you guys, so it's been about 24 hours and my candles have finally set. Um, keep in mind, I am not a professional. And here is what the candles are looking like. Some of them, as you can see, have developed like little air pockets in them. So I'll probably have to figure out a way to make sure that the tops are nice and seamless. But I've got some candles right here and I also designed some labels for them. So... I'm just going to go ahead and call this a success. The candle wax melter really, really, really helped me to make these candles very quickly. I did this in under 15 minutes, I believe. Making the candles in under 15 minutes and let them sit for 24 hours. I'm going to cut the wicks and then we will put the labels on. Here are some labels that I have designed. For one of my brands that I am planning to talk to you guys about in the future but I've actually designed these zodiac labels that I'm going to place onto the candles you guys will hear more about this brand soon but let's see and they're not 100% perfect okay so here is one of the labels this is the Libra zodiac sign my brand's name is going to be Nye and I Mystic, like I said, I'll talk to you guys about that in a later vlog, but here's what the label looks like on the candle. Okay, that looks cute. I love that. Alright, so we got the Libra. I have a Virgo. Um, I actually have made a candle a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just going to place this one on this vessel. This is my personal candle. Some despair we've been fighting. 
hiding feelings But it's obvious that we both care So take me to the moon I wanna be with the stars Send me Comment down below if you guys would want to purchase any of these candles and support my business because this is so, I really feel like this is just really beautiful. It's very simple, but also, I don't know, it's different. I like it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it and you want to see me make more candles, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.